Books nowadays are made with heavy machinery, but it wasn't always that way. For centuries, books were bound by hand. And here in the Northwoods, one man has spent much of his life mastering the art of bookbinding. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson joins us live in studio with more. Morgan? Dan, it's tough to come across a traditional book bindery, but Florian Bieschke of Arborvita has a passion for repairing old books to make sure the story inside is never lost. This thing is addictive. Book binding, <laughs> something not many people do anymore and maybe something you've never even heard of. If you're, if you're a book lover, that's one thing. But if you're a constructivist who like to make things, that's a whole other thing. She's Florian Bieschke is one in. of the few book Bam. binders left in Wisconsin. Fresh for you from 1872. As you can imagine, he likes doing it. I have hundreds of tools, hand tools for doing decoration. Um, I can't get enough of them. I love them. I love all this stuff. Thousands of books have been binded by Bieschke in this small hut. He says almost all of bookbinding is working with your hands, and each book tells a different story. And that's what it is with people with books. The book has become an object in its own right, and it's no longer that, okay, there were 450 of them. No, this was dad's. This was grandpa's. Like most stories, rebinding a book is full of adversity. You're going to mess up. That's not important. Things are going to happen. That's not important. What are you prepared to do about it? That is what's important. Do you have a plan? Through constant challenges, Bieschke is always learning new things. There's so much more that I wish I had time to learn. Retirement doesn't appeal to Bieschke. What does appeal to him is the craft of taking each day one book at a time. The original plan was to quit at 75. I'm not sure that's a good plan. That's only two more years. If you have an old book that needs repairing, you can contact Bieschke, but you might have to wait. He has a long list of books to do first. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Morgan. 